Can you see it? Just from skincare. Can you see how glowy, hydrated, and like firm my skin looks? I'm obsessed. I found my glass skin routine. I'm having trouble figuring out my camera. I haven't used this in a while. So I do want to show you this video. I do want to film this. Because even though this is different from everything that I've been doing on this channel, I promised myself this would be a channel where I could talk about everything that I like. Today I'm going to show you my current skincare routine. And I've been wanting to talk about it for a while, but I think I never did because I wasn't fully satisfied with my routine. And now that I am, like, come on guys. I said, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm obsessed with skincare forever. And although I always took care of my skin, the difference I've been seeing now with this routine is insane. It's insane. Even though I always had good skin, I still had like issues. And my most common issue was the issue that would come back to me all the time. It's like sensitive skin and having red rashes, pores. Like I had a pore problem around this area. So like lower cheeks and nose. Can you see how my, I don't know, but like it's gone. I have zero Botox. I have zero fillers. All my skincare has been home care and once a year I go to my dermatolog dermatologist and we might do a treatment here and there like um, facials or like peeling or radio frequency or I don't know different things for like collagen boost or things like that and but I haven't done pillars or Never done Botox. Now I'm focused. Bear with me. I'm doing my best to use a camera so this looks better than my iPhone. Okay, so I want to go over with what I've been doing. And this is was game changer for me. So we start here with this tree. Most of my skincare now are Korean. It just works better for me. So the first is I start cleaning with this, the Anua Hard Leaf Pore Control Cleansing Oil. We're just filming to like this beautiful like milk thing and just cleans. And this is like these two steps, the cleansing, the these and the next one, which is the mix on Sensei cleansing for foam. These two were the song like if you I, I could tell you, look, this one step will change your life, will change your skin forever, would be those two. My pores are gone. When when I say they're gone, it's because they were like so visible, so like out there. No matter how much like expensive products I did and whatever. And then like the just this, just switching the cleanse part of my skin changed my skin completely. If you're saying, okay, I'm just gonna try one thing from this video, just like don't need even need to keep watching, just buy those shoes. You're gonna thank me later. It's insane the difference I've seen in my skin. After cleansing, my I tone my skin, and I've been doing this one. This is the Anua Hard Leaf 77% Soothing Toner. So just go with a cotton pad, put it all over my skin, and this is like the first, like it's toning my skin, it's calming my skin, even though the cleansing steps aren't harsh on my skin, it just like gives the calming effect to it, and it prepares my skin to get all the good stuff that will go later. So before I was doing the SK2 Essence as my third step. So after cleaning, toning, the essence I was using was that one. And it's a really expensive one. And I'm not going to say it's bad, but it wasn't doing that much for my skin. So I changed it. I tried a few others, but the ones I'm really happy with, you can see here, they're like not big bottles. But I know trees sound like a lot, but each of them, like they have a purpose. And basically what the essence step will do is will give you like the first hit of like nourishing ingredients to your skin. You can just use one. But the point of Korean skincare is like to layer different 
nutrients and like a way that works for skin and your skin will suck it in. So this is like water, guys. This feels like water. And I just do one drop of each and dab it on my face. And it's not going to be like heavy at all. This feels like water in your face. And I've been doing the three of them. They were the ones I liked most from everything that I tried. And I feel like you already feel in it in your skin. I don't know. Something about the routine I made is that each product has been very necessary to me. I wouldn't change any of them. I will show you in this video some like things I still have and sometimes I still use, but I don't think I'm buying them again because I'm so happy with my routine. I have read a lot for years on probiotics for the skin. And basically what it does is like it fakes the defense barrier of your skin and will allow it to be like healthier. Not only avoid those like irritating red patches or even those like inflammatory reactions in your skin that can turn into pimples and things like that. I discussed this with my dermatologist and she's a believer in probiotics for the skin too. A lot of people are like, this is, has been going on for a while, but what I feel is like nowadays the products are much better than like four years or five years ago when I started first thing like reading about it because it like sits good on your skin. It's not just there like melting. And I found this one from all that I tro I've tried, and I've been trying a lot since the last year, this entire year, because I'm in the US, I now have access to a lot of things. <laughs> and this has been insane. So this is the Madas Madagascar Centea Pro Bio Sika Intensive Ampoule. The brand is Skin 1004 or 1004. I don't know how they want us to pronounce it, but this is the first probiotic uh like ampoule I guess that sits on my skin and properly and it doesn't interfere with the rest of my skincare and I can do my makeup after I can do everything after it's bit like it's a gorgeous product by the way I also like think it's a gorgeous like fisk product too isn't it pretty so the ampoule has been the fourth step on my skincare so cleansing which is like two products toning essences like watery essences and the ampoule after this ampoule i still guys trust me trust the process i've been going in with this tier tier ceramic milk ampoule so although when you see here you read like glow moisturize nourish the other thing this product does and does really well and i'm loving it, like brightening your skin most milk products have this like brightening effect this is an anti-wrinkle tour reducing or delaying the signs of age but how brightening it has been to my skin and how uniform the tone of my skin has been i give it to this one so yes i'm loving it I'm going to talk now about a few extras or replacements, but that's not my basic skincare. So don't go crazy. I'm going to write it out down below in the description. Like, okay, this is the basic and this is like swapping options or extras. So don't worry. If you're trying to find like, understand my routine or find new, definitely not saying you need it all. I'm just sharing you what I've been using. Okay. One of the most Underrated and the best European brands or French brands is Institut Estaderm. My understanding, I really love this brand. I don't know why we don't see it as much in the US. I can find it easily in Brazil. But this is one of the best European. For me, maybe this is the best European brand for skincare ever. But why I've been liking Korean over French or European skincare or it's because when you have, even though it's a, all these small steps, I'd feel like this product is for, is for then this and for that. And then they are like highly concentrated on doing that. And when you layer them, they don't feel heavy on your skin. As in, as for most like European or even American brands, they have this like multi, super multi like use products and they do it all at once. But then once you like 
you don't have one product that's gonna save your skin. So when they you layer them together, they don't feel as nice on the skin. So you could not do essences. You could not do probiotic if you don't want to. And you could not do the pole. And you could just like after cleansing and toning, just keep to a one-step serum, which is fine. But even though this is an amazing product, I can't tell it beats the rest. I'd rather stay with the rest. And this is only good by day. If you were doing by night, you would have to do the other one, which I have, which is the Excelage cream. They are like really good product. Like, trust me, they are like amazing product for this kind of skincare. And I've sometimes, sometimes I'm using it instead of the rest, but I don't skip the rest. I just use it instead of the pole just because I still have it. But B, when this is all done, what you're going to buy again? I'm going to stay with my Korean brands. It's just insane, the difference. But I want to say this is really good. It's just giving you options. So after my... So after the ceramic milk and pole from Tirtir, what I would go to, and that's like an extra step for like firmness, is the nail secretion cream. So it's like this nail must empower sense. The one I'm wearing, it's from Cosar X. It's this one. This has been the most talked about ingredient in Korean skincare ever, but I'm a believer. It does feel like your skin feels tighter and much better, not only like after they use, like instantaneously, but after I started using for like two weeks, I was like, oh, I feel it. It's like Botox in a jar. There's a lot of brands. There's another one I want to try, but I couldn't order it. I couldn't find it. But then this one from the the ones I ordered last year, this was the one I kept. So really good one. Because it's like a gel plaster. It might look sound weird, but once you put it on the screen, you're like, okay, I don't mind. I don't care. Give me all those nails in the world. Um, it sits well in your skin. It's not like it's, it's, it's gelish, but it's not gooish. Like it's not weird. I promise. And this is of course, like totally like not necessarily a step, but I think it pays off on the long run for like how your skin will age. Cause we're all going to age. It's fine. But your skin doesn't need to follow your timeline. <laughs> it can stay better. Look, I'm 33. I've done the can on the skin and it shows my skin is a 28, someone 27, 28. I don't remember. And I hear this a lot in the US, people commenting on my skin. So I'm really happy with thinking on the long term <laughs> and still avoiding Botox, still avoiding that. I'm not saying I'm never going to do it, but for now I can avoid it. So the last step, we're there already, would be hydration. And if you're in the Saderm products instead of the Korean steps, I would still do it. You don't have to, especially by night, because it's a hydrating cream, the one for the night. But I would still do a hydrating step. But maybe it could be an oil. I don't know. But what I've been doing... So yeah, guys, I'm a Lamer user, but... I live in Florida, and before that, I'm from Brazil. The only occasions I use La Mer is if by some reason my skin is really sensitive. So if I did like a retinol treatment or something like that, I would use La Mer. If not, I only use La Mer when I'm in really cold weather, like snow weather. And I don't get it here, so I haven't been using it for a while. That's why I kept the small one. Because it's too much for my skin in this weather. Even though Miami has a lot of AC, it's still not necessary. Because the AC everywhere can make your skin feel dry. It's still not necessary to me. So I found this one from Mixon too. And it's called the Bean Bean Cream. This is amazing. Think of a hydrating product, like a hydrating cream, that when you're sliding... First, you did all the steps. Your skin feels like silk. But when you're sliding it, it feels like buttery, but it's not oily. It's like 
It's nourishing. Your skin just drinks it up. I swear, that's how I feel with all these products. So I've been obsessing over it. I only have the, I have the smaller one because like whatever product I can get on smaller one I do because of my travels. But they have like big um, jars too. And those like, I have to say, for if you compare just just the La Mer one, just the La Mer product, I can get all of the rest on my Korean beauty. And just the like Estaderm ones, both of them are more expensive than my Korean routine. And I'm happier with my Korean routine. Trust me, I would never be like, chip on my skincare that's like not me i like i love doing that skincare for me it's like a priority (laughs) but i'm just i guess amazed that the products i've been loving are not that expensive they're not expensive at all i think my entire korean routine on amazon buying from amazon and not like her uh, whatever vendor i'm saying buying from the brand on their amazon store It's like $250, which could last me anywhere from like two months or to maybe around around three. Some of them much more than that. But like, come on, this is going to last me six months or something, maybe more. (laughs) But it's just insane. So I wanted to share with you because I'm really happy with it. What do you guys think? I have like zero makeup, I promise. Isn't this like looking... I don't like touching my skin after skincare is done, but tell me I'm crazy. Isn't this like glass skin? I don't want to talk about like masks. I haven't tried Korean brands masks, like face masks yet, because I still didn't feel the need. To be honest, I don't feel the need of doing masks with this skincare. I only do for fun, like, oh, I want to do like a rewind, you know, like a reset Sunday, when you do all your, like, you put oil in your hair, you, I don't know, you do, like, all the beauty stuff, you put a lot of, like, lotion in your body and things like that, that's when I do masks, but I don't feel the need of it, especially, like, hydrating or brightening masks, I don't need it. The one mask that I'll say that I'm never letting go and that I've been using for, like, over 15 years is this one. This is the Kiehl's Rare deep pore cleansing mask this is a clay mask but it's not just only clay mask just like any clay mask this is the best clay mask you will ever try trust me more expensive brands won't do it what this do for you i'm never out of it i turned all my friends and family into a believer and like brand lover of kills just because of this product and the reason I show you the small one is because this is a tester. And I want to see if maybe you can find one, like at your local Sephora or even at a kill store. Ask for it. Say, look, I heard about the Ray, Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I want to try it. Can I have a sample? I'm sure they'll give it to you because once you try it and I use it on like trips. And so whenever I buy something from Kills, I ask for this sample because they give you a lot of samples. It's insane. This will, like, is the mask that actually clean your entire skin. You feel like I did, like, a super exfoliation, but you're not actually, like, scrubbing your face. It brightens your skin at the moment, and it your pores are gone. I always do it before an event, like a wedding, or doing heavy makeup or whatever, because it's just, like, it gives the perfect canva. I do have two other kills uh, masks that I keep. One is brightening and one is hydrating. But I have to say, I haven't been using them because with this skincare, I don't feel the need. But once a month, I'll be like, okay, I want to do a full spa day. And I'll do the three of them. So I'll start with the rare earth, the cleansing one. Then I'll do like the brightening one. Then I'll do the hydrating one. But it's very unnecessary. I'll link it out below, but I don't even want to show you it here because it's unnecessary last product i want to show you it's like an all-time favorite from korean beauty for like years and it's probably the first korean beauty product i ever had and it's the laneige lipping lip slipping mask this one is i used to have chapped lips before i turned into this which was years ago and now i just 
sleep with this on my lips, not even every day, but maybe like once or twice a week. And my lips are like plumpy. I don't have fillers on lips too. I don't have anything, but because I know fillers are hydrating. But they hydrate your lips so nicely during the night. And then you wake up, you have this gorgeous hydrating lips that last like for the next days. And even with time, your lips are hydrated. But yeah, this is an anti extra that I wanted to show you guys. That's it, guys. That has been my skincare routine. And I'm obsessed. And I know I sound very like fashion aid and surprised about it. It's because every time I check my skin, I'm still amazed that I was able to achieve that. And yeah. And I can still go with my makeup on top of it when I want it, but I can still not go with my makeup and just be this on a daily basis and wear my skin probably. <laughs> I hope you like this kind of video and I hope you like, like that I dive into more, that I open my niche. I don't want to be here talking about bags forever or always. And there's so much I want to share with you. Maybe even my work soon. So I hope you had fun. See you on the next one. Thank you for staying with me through my glass skin routine. And see you soon.